Hey guys, I am just showing mamas what I do for meal prep. I have two toddlers and they basically eat the same thing every day. And we have a staple in our house. We eat a lot of ground beef. Um, so we just, you know, make big batches of it and, you know, keep just enough for a few days in the fridge and then um, freeze it up. So, literally, what I do is um, I put my uh, frozen ground beef in here when I don't have time to um, defrost it and um, that's all this is. It is just defrosted ground beef and I drained it uh, into this bowl. I don't want to spill it but that's all the fat and liquid I got out of it. Um, I am going to season it with salt. and paprika smoked paprika I always make it a point to get smoked paprika it has such a different flavor and I don't think you can ever have too much of it I like the flavor, um, but I don't want it to overpower everything. And then I've got basically Italian herbs from my garden. I'm just gonna drizzle those on. Yes, baby. And I love this um, Spice Islands taco seasoning. It is amazing. I use it. <laughs> I use it on chicken. I use it on beef I use it on almost everything it just has great flavors in it um, and I use that very liberally yes baby okay you don't have to eat it can you finish your pancakes leave, leave it on your plate so you don't make a mess please thank you so I literally just mix that off um, I do use the oil from the ground beef. It was starting to burn. I am cooking this on medium high. So I am going to chop up tomatoes and onions and I think I have some bell peppers in there. I'm going to throw those in um, in a little bit. I will take out some dry mix because we use it for tacos. Um, when I don't know what meal we're having, we have tacos and we usually use the low carb tortillas or um, uh, romaine lettuce as shells. So this is still pretty hot. I just need a bit of oil. that up and uh, leave it simmering while I chop up my onions. I'm likely going to use chopped uh, canned tomatoes because I don't have enough time to chop everything off. But I'll see you soon. So this has been simmering for uh, maybe four or five minutes. Um, I did decide to use some tomatoes that I had from my garden so I am going to blend them. Um, I am going to put the heat back up to maybe four, three, four, and I will add some garlic and onions so that those fry. Um, I do have fresh garlic but I do not have time, so I'm going to use minced garlic, and yes, I go heavy on the garlic, um, anything medicinal. Mm -hmm. 
So I am only going to put my onions in. I will put my peppers in right at the end. Yes. I'm only putting the onions in. Um, I had some uh, yellow peppers. We went to Boston Market about two months ago and got a huge bag of um, yellow peppers for three bucks. One green pepper from my garden. I'm going to take um, a bit of the dry mix out. Uh, we will likely use that for tacos uh, during the course of the week. The kids like a lot of sauce, so most of what's left will be sauce. <laughs> so, yum, I'm gonna let that cool and then I will cover it up and put it in the fridge. So now that this has crisped up, I am going to add um, the rest of my tomatoes. <laughs> Good job, kiddo. You want some more? Yeah. You do? Okay, Alora, can you give him your juice that you didn't drink? Can you give him your juice that you didn't drink, please? I do like to make a hole in the center and let my tomatoes cook a little bit before I mix them in. And I will take a bit of water and have some um, burnt ground beef on the pan so that's what I'm just um, gently rubbing off the pan um, so that it doesn't blacken and leave me with black stuff. Um, I probably do need to buy a new pan and I will soon. I just keep forgetting. Um, I got this from my best friend about three or four years ago and it has been my favorite pan of all time. I will likely just get a walk nannies in. Simmer. I'm now competing with Rara uh, <laughs> um, and I will shut it. Um, I'm going to reduce the heat to like a medium high and cover it for about five-ish minutes and then I'll be back. All right it's been about eight minutes. I don't know I wasn't timing it. But I am going to put in the rest of um, what I drained out of the ground beef when I was initially making it. I am going to drain out the oil 
Yeah, I should probably do it now because it's sitting. What do you want to say, her? What? what? <laughs> We have toddlers playing soccer in the house. That's why it got so loud. Oh, I've got bouillon. All right. So, Rara just reminded me that she uses bouillon, and I am going to do the same. Um, there was a lot of Oil in that I thought there was more water than there was, but there was more oil. So I am going to use a couple, uh, maybe one cube of Norox beef flavor. No idea where I got this. South Africa. I probably got this from Franklin. Thanks, Tuggle. Um, I'm going to brush that into here. patient so didn't wait for it to all disintegrate but I probably will add some more water to make more sauce I'll add just a little bit more water to make more sauce let it simmer about eight ish minutes and then it will be done I think at this point I will also add the peppers. I just didn't want them to overcook, so I put them in as the last thing. This was the last green, well, the only green pepper from my garden. Um, I had one in a planter, um, and I only got one plant from there. And then I had one that looked like a jalapeno pepper, but after I bit into it, discovered it was just a green pepper. But this is it. I use uh, mason jars to um, store what I'm going to freeze and then I put uh, the rest of it in uh, one container that I use in the fridge for the week. Uh, that oil that's left over, I will be uh, using it to marinate my chicken. It's got that nice beef flavor and I love it. It just adds a lot of um, moisture and flavor to chicken. Alright guys, see you next time.